And you know, subhanAllah, when people are always talking about how do we expel the shayateen from the home, how do we expel the jinn? And the reality is, is that you invite the malaika into your home with the recitation of the Quran and with the presence of prayer and remembrance. And those things naturally would expel the opposite of them, which are the shayateen, which are the devils. And so you want to have a strong share of your prayer for the home and you want your home to basically be like a masjid in the sense that it's a home of praise, a home where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is worshiped frequently. And you want to have an allocation of that. Now, one of the things that's that's very powerful when you're thinking about the malaika, when you're thinking about the angels, is when you pray at home, you're not alone. Okay, so even if you're not surrounded by rows of people, you're certainly not alone. An angel would pray to your right, an angel to your left, and angels would pray behind you. Amthalul Jibal, angels the size of mountains are praying behind you. Can you imagine you're entering into salah, you're entering into prayer in your bedroom, in your living room, in your, you know, in your dining room, your office, wherever it is, and you think it's just you. And there are angels the size of mountains that are praying behind you as you're saying Allahu Akbar.